<laughs> okay, we're going to go into part two of the moon in Capricorn. Now, remember, oh, God, I don't like the lighting on this. Judy, this ain't right. I think that's much better. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you know, Leo, I got to look, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, my health, I got a clean bill of health. Despite my drinking and drugging, I have a clean bill of health. My doctor told me, you don't smoke, do you? And I smoke like a chimney. But my teeth are as white as they can be. And I don't use no chemicals to wipe my teeth. This is all natural. And, you know. They got me. I'm good. Okay? So, the moon in Capricorn. Part 2. So, we're going to jump right in. Because we have a lot to cover. Okay? We're going to talk about the moon and Capricorn. Let's go. Let's talk about the Capricorn woman. The Capricorn woman is a very responsible and dignified woman. There's an air about her. She's beautiful. And she's very dignified inside. There is a quiet dignity with this woman. She's conservative. And she respects tradition. But you have to be equally emotionally receptive to the type of res reserve that this woman possesses. This woman is extremely possessive, self-possessed, and emotionally reserved. She's, she's cautious. Her nature is to be cautious. And she comes across very cold. That's part of the problem with the moon in Capricorn in a woman's chart. I know many, I have many girlfriends with the moon in Capricorn. Very wealthy women. Millionaires, successful, but miserable, miserable. I've never understood something like that. Oh my God! What is that? They have to, they damn if you do or damn if you don't. When you are a woman with the moon in Capricorn. Understand, then, how is a woman born with a moon in Capricorn supposed to be happy, balancing career and success, being a wife and then a mother? Remember the movie Mommy Dearest? Joan Crawford played, um, I mean, Faye Dunaway played Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford was a Capricorn. John Crawford was a Capricorn. I'm getting a coin. I'm trying to stop it. But I can't do it. This is Saturn in my third house. It won't let me do it. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Saturn. 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 Okay. Okay. So understand, with the moon in Capricorn, it's all about success, ambition. You saw the movie All About Eve? It was done in the 1960s. If you don't know, go to Turner Classics or go to uh, Netflix and order the movie All About Eve. You got with, with um, um, uh, uh, Betty Davis, All About Eve. You got to watch that fucking movie. That's the moon in Capricorn. Eve, she did everything.
everything she could. She lied. She cheated. She still. She fucked and slept around. She all. She all. The only thing she didn't do was commit murder. But she did everything in the book to win that success, to win that Oscar, to win that award. She did everything and destroyed many people, and she finally got the award. That is the moon in Capricorn. By any means necessary, you must succeed despite who you destroy in the process. This is the moon in Capricorn. I like to believe that as a human species, we have evolved a little further beyond those kind of animalistic primal urges and tendencies. But the man or the woman with the moon in Capricorn has an insatiable, diabolical, bloodthirsty taste for ambition and success at all cost that it makes them dangerous. At worst, at the least, these people can be the most insecure, broken, people that you will ever meet with no sense of self, no sense of identity or even centeredness of ego. These people could be drones guised as human beings simulating day-to-day -day operations that come naturally to us. They have to learn it because they are robotic. They are designed to function and think of what will bring them success, but at the cost of being human, tapping into their humanity. This is the moon in Capricorn. So you have to understand, you have to understand You have to understand that these are not going to be the most likable people. They're not going to be concerned about you. If you're not about business and success, or if you have a goal, they don't wanna, they're going to call you a loser. They don't want to deal with you. They hang with high rollers and movers and shakers. Because they fashion themselves to be the same way. Even if they're not, they fade the funk. Success and financial stability and security is all that's required here. And I'm getting a call. Yes, hello. I'm doing a video right now. Who's calling? How are you? Good morning. Hi, Katrina. I have, to, I have to call me back. Thank you, doll. Okay. So understand that we have a situation going on here. With the moon in Capricorn, it's all business. Even in sex, even in relationships, it's about give and take. And God forbid you don't give more than they're giving. Because then it disbalances the score. Capricorn keeps scores. And he keeps tabs. Every love and affection that he gives or she gives has to be earned. They won't give it out of their own heart. Even though they can, they choose not to. It's complex. It's complex. Behind closed doors, though. They feel more secure. They let go. And they become the real them. The real them you don't get to see. When they are home, remember the opposite polarity of Capricorn is cancer. The home. Security. So at home, they are their real selves. And and, and if you want to know, know who they are, Behind closed doors, Capricorn Moon, women and men, 
are pussies. Pussies. Behind closed doors, they're just as vulnerable and weak as you and I are. But in the face of society, they're Capricorn, the devil, power, cardinal earth, and they exude power and control. But they're pussies behind closed doors. And that's the moon in Capricorn. And I can say it because I had a Capricorn father and a Capricorn grandmother. And I do come from financial success and opulence. But I did pay a price in terms of the rest of my family. Not all that glitters is gold. Even though it is gold. There's a lot of pain here. And, and love is not earned. I mean, love has to be earned. Love is not freely given. Love is not unconditional when you're born with the moon in Capricorn. Love has a set of conditions, and if you don't meet those conditions, then you're not going to get the Capricorn love of a man or of a woman. And that sucks, and that's fucked up. But that's my opinion, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna take that away from this reading. In my opinion, has no place here. But I'm going to comment on it, you know? So I understand what we're dealing with here. Okay. Hold on one second. I lost signal. Because, you know, you know the devil. You, we know that the devil is always going to try. No, we got to stay on top of him. All right, all right, let us do this. All right, let's see if this is going to work. Let's see if this is going to work. Okay. Okay, to so understand that this is the situation going on when you're born with the moon. And Capricorn. There's always a sense of inner restlessness. You don't want to. Um, there's no way that you can experience peace. Because you're always thinking and always worried. Of where the next opportunity is going to come from. Concerning your sustainability and your survival. Because Capricorn deals with survival. You want to survive. You need to survive. But if you need to survive, and if you want to survive and live well, you, you need to master the rules of the game. And, and Capricorn rules... The master of the game. You need to read that book by Sidney Sheldon. Master of the game. You have to know the skeletal framework of what's going to bring success. And align yourself with the powers that have the ability to bring about that success. That doesn't mean that there's going to be a camaraderie or a sense of allegiance or friendship or partnership that is emotionally based on personal experiences, or even mutual commonality. Capricorn doesn't seem to really care about that. Their only concern is survival, self-sustainability, and continuity. And anything and everything else is expendable or expandable in the process. That doesn't lend for much warmth or even loving interpersonal exchange between one human being to another. This doesn't seem to be embodied in the sign of Capricorn, where it's all where its only purpose and objective is survival and fulfilling self-interests, despite or in, in spite of anyone else's interests. This is the moon in Capricorn.
It is the sign that deals with preserving the status quo. And anything that fights or tries to dismantle the status quo is the enemy. So, we see this dichotomy playing out when Pluto entered Capricorn in 1995. And we saw a shift in the paradigm of culture, race relations, and even international politics. And that began when Obama took presidency back eight years ago, when we officially entered and heralded the Aquarian age. Now, I gotta re up. You know me. Thank you for being so patient with me. My work is cut out for me, you know. So, understand now, speaking of the Capricorn woman, which we haven't yet tapped into, but this is a general, a generality that falls for both the sign of Capricorn, both the male and the female. They both fit in this. I'm going to go, of course, into specific details of both signs, you know. But, like, you know, when you're dealing with Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, I can't give you justice at 25 minutes, four videos. I need to do 10 videos because we're, we're moving into a higher spectrum of humanity and therefore of the cosmos that requires more explanation, and I just don't have that time and space. In this case... If you got the moon in Capricorn, the moon in Aquarius, the moon in Pisces, the moon in Sagittarius, you're going to have to pay for a consultation and be consulted because there's a lot to say about this placing. I'm only giving you trinkets, and I have to do that because it's a moral responsibility to educate the public. But I know that I'm only giving you a grain of salt because I don't have the space and room to fully give you a discourse and these lunar faces and signs of these signs, particularly when we deal with Libra to Pisces, it really does become far more uh, complex. It does become more complex. And, and, and more of an explanation will be required. So, understand that behind closed doors, when the Cancer, Moon, man or woman is secular and no one is looking or watching, they break down. They break down. Because it's hard to keep a front for too long without breaking apart. Because the reality is that when you're born with the Moon in Capricorn, the incarnation is not a good one, and it's not an easy one. You're going to suffer, and you're going to go through a lot of pain and, and a lot of sorrow. The question becomes, why are you going through this with the moon in Capricorn? What is the lesson? What are, you, what are you to take away from your experience? Understand. Like I mentioned in my other videos, Capricorn is a is a sign that's ruled by Saturn, and didn't I say that Saturn rules karma and past lives? And don't I don't I say that the Moon, the ruler of Cancer, also deals with past lives? Didn't I say in my other videos that the fourth house, which belongs to Cancer, rules the immediate past life? So when you have Capricorn. And you have the moon in Capricorn, 
you are going to be dealing with past life dynamics that might be playing themselves out in this incarnation that you know nothing about. You might be going through pain and suffering that you know you don't deserve because you've done nothing in this life and you don't know why you're being fucked on or being bullied by the universe. But understand that if you've been looking at my videos and you've been following me and all my lectures, the moon in Capricorn is a karmic position. You're bringing something with you when you have the moon in Capricorn that needs to be brought to balance. And you're not going to know what that is. The personality of who you are now is not going to know what that is. You're going to need an astrologer or someone to help you decode that. The moon in Capricorn is a very bad position for a woman's chart. It almost guarantees her misery in love and in everything else in her life. The only thing that will be successful in her life will be money and success. But everything else, she will have to pay for. She won't have the, 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 the love and the happiness that she should have at her prime. Capricorn, the moon in Capricorn, she's in her 50s. She should be happy. She should be resting in a place of refuge and respite. But that doesn't happen with the moon in Capricorn. If anything, she's inconvenienced with responsibilities that she'd rather not deal with. The death of a parent, the maintenance of a brother, the death of a baby, and now she got to take care of a property that is being foreclosed. There's always something that distracts her and demands total energy of her and total responsibility. This is a, a queen and a, and a king rolled up in one. She never catches a break. With the moon in Capricorn, the woman, she never catches a break. She's always inundated with responsibilities that she'd rather deal without. Frankly, if I was her, I'd walk away from it and, not, and disappear and never be seen again. This is the moon in Capricorn. It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Oh, look at now. I'm all like into it that I lost my joint. I dropped it somewhere. Because when the spirit takes hold of me, I'm like, whoo. I get all emotional. It's not really me. You know, it's my archons taking, taking over. Oh, my God. They dropped it again. But they, you know, they want... Mm-hmm. 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 These are the archons. These types of disturbances that you see me, and I allow you to see it. This is the archons causing disturbances. Because they don't like it when I talk truth to help humanity. They don't want to see humanity liberated. liberated. So they attack me. But I'm Moon and Aries. Fuck you. I'm that nigga that you can attack. Because in the... In the end, I'm going to win. I'm cardinal to my heart. Okay? So understand that this is the situation the situation going on with the moon in Capricorn. Especially when we're dealing with a Capricorn woman. She's, she's a woman that suffers. She has failed dreams and failed promises. When you're born with the moon in Capricorn, you don't trust very much. I don't blame you. People let you down. People let down the Capricorn one woman too often. They let her down. So what is she supposed to do? She has to find a way to survive. But most importantly, adapt. Well, the woman with the Capricorn moon is diabolically ambitious. She's an opportunist. 
an opportunist. She identifies strongly with material values rather than spiritual values. This is the problem with the moon in Capricorn in a woman's chart and in a man's chart. They put value on materialism rather than spiritualism. And when they do put the focus on spiritualism, it's often too late. And they've often lost a lot in the game. And they go spiritually because they are not awarded anything else. And it is the last leg to stand on. It's not because they have a an, an, an awakening, you know, and they believe. Fuck that. It's because they have no other way to go. Capricorn plays a good game. And if you're dealing with a strong Capricorn man or woman with a strong constitution, they'll fit the test and stand up to the test. But many don't stand to the test. And many fall on the wayside and become stragglers. So understand that not everyone wins the race when you're born with the moon in Capricorn. So then, how, oh, I ran out of wasabi. How do you, how do you handle that? How do you balance that? Okay. And we are at 27 minutes. We are three minutes over. We are done with this segment.